I'm going to show us with the nail and on the first hand and face transplant. They had to amputate the tips of my fingers and my face was burned. And I had like little slits in my eyes, so it was like looking through like a, a chain fence. scar tissues uh, really restricted me to doing anything for the most part. I couldn't need help washing my hair or even like play with my dog. A lot of motivation, a lot of patience, and you gotta stay strong through everything. You can't really give up. He is the most hopeful individual, despite all the difficulties that he has encountered. And I often probe and I ask Joe, Joe, how are you feeling? He never thought that he was going to live this way. He knew 100% that this would be successful and he would go on with his life the way it was before. And every state in the country was actually looking for a donor for Joe. And we knew that it would be a needle in a haystack because his antibody level, which is defined by PRA, panel reactive antibody was 94%, which means 94% of most donors would reject him. We had been training for Joe's operation for numerous months. And all of a sudden, everything comes to a screeching halt in March. All of us, we get taken away from our normal duties to go care for COVID patients in the main hospital. But even while we're there in the ICUs and in critical care settings, we never forget about identifying Joe's donor. I would like to meet him one day Whenever they're ready, and I'm really, I'm really thankful for the gift that they gave me.